Hello everybody, this is Day Night Let's Plays, I'm K Bath. Monkey Ninja. And Faison. And right now we're playing Kirby Superstar for the Super Nintendo. Quite frankly, one and only game I've actually played that's Kirby besides uh besides Return to Dreamland. And this has to be my favorite. So that's I hear it from everyone it's everyone's favorite, so. I personally like this game a lot. Wow, this I, came out pretty late into the Super Nintendo life cycle. It looks like ninety six. Mm -hmm. That's like close to N sixty four, like N sixty four time. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, it definitely kind of shows and everything. It's, it definitely has a lot of. It utilizes a lot. I think this is actually one of the games that uses more of the uh, the RAM in the in in the cartridge than compared to other games. Okay, so. How is this game set up? It seems like there's a bunch of uh, different modes there. There is about... There's seven modes here. I will, I will go through each one of them as we progress through, because I do show off each one, because they each have their own individual menu. And we're starting out with Spring Breeze, because that's the easiest... I say easy, and I swear to God this game is easy, but... You're going to see I'm going to fail quite a bit. <laughs> but this is the, the, starter point, the starting point of the game, you could say. You don't die on Dream Dream, do you? No. Uh, maybe. No, I don't actually know. I <laughs> don't. Wow, is this, um, no. That's kind of weird. I know when I, I played, uh, well, my experience for Kirby is actually kind of limited. I've played the N64 version, what is the Crystal Shards? Oh yeah, I played that one. I completely forgot about Crystal Shards, but go on. Never, never beat it. Um, I played quite a bit of original Nintendo game, but I never got a hold of this game. I did, however, have the golf game on Super Nintendo, which I never played. I don't know how I ended up with that. Wait, which one? Uh, Kirby, like, mini golf. Oh, yeah, on the game. Yeah, I, I know Super Nintendo, about. yeah. Wow, that was so unnecessary. You were going to die anyway. <laughs> oh, so you, you could have um, a Wildy helping you? Yeah, that, that's the main thing with this game. That's, that really kind of, you know, sets it apart, is that you can, uh, you can take an enemy, like that power layer. Say if I if this partner dies, the power I have now is Cutter, so I could actually make that into a partner. But in return, that would actually I would give up the power I currently have. Yeah, you know that's actually one of the reasons why I like this uh, this game so much, as opposed to other Kirby games, is because I just take like my two favorite abilities, have one as a partner and have one on me. And if I lose mine, then I could just take my partner. Exactly, that's actually what I was going to say, too. You can always just, you know, use him as, like, okay, I lost this power, I'll just take that power, then. If you, hit, if you get hit by a certain attack, or if you get hit enough, then you will lose your power. Alright, you know, this never made sense to me. If he can make himself into three, why not just run around as three Kirby's and, you know, just be done with everything? The power of stars. Okay. That's, like, the best explanation I've got. <laughs> Ah, no, it's Nintendo. Well, that's a, it's a pretty cool little gameplay edition, looks like. Although, to be honest, what I think would have been pretty cool. Well, I'm not sure, because, like I said, I've never played this game. But I think it would have been cool if you would have had, like, you know, someone like a Sonic and Sonic 2 kind of playthrough. But, like, the second a second player could, like, pick up the controller or something and take control of the enemy. Well, that's actually the case here. It says CPU there, but a human player can actually take control of the partner. Oh, that's actually really cool, then. Yep. So, like, um, would you have to select two-player, or would you have to, um... You just... I think it's... You pick up the controller, and you're just good to go. Wow. Well, yeah, now that I think about it, um, I actually do have experience with one other Kirby game, and that's the one on the Wii. And, um, I'm, I think that's Return to Dreamland? That's Return to Dreamland. Unless you're talking about Epic Yarn, which is completely different mm -hmm. altogether. No, it's not Epic Yarn. Um, but yeah, that game's actually a really good multiplayer game. I'm actually oh, yeah. surprised this franchise is not more popular as opposed to most other Nintendo franchises. Now I'm going to show you the power of this power right here. The only time I'm ever going to get it. So watch closely. This boss is it's going to take a long time for me to beat. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that actually one shot at that boss. Yeah, actually, when I was test playing through, I, I said, you know what, let's see what Crash does. I never actually used it against the boss. I saw that, I was like, oh, okay. Why not? Huh, so this is where Knuckle Joe's from, in Smash Brothers. Yep. 
did not realize. That's actually, I think Fighter, Fighter's probably my favorite. Do you ever uh, pause the game to show off all the moves you can do? Do I ever what? Pause the game to show off all the moves you can do. I actually don't. Oh. Probably should have. I didn't. Whatever. <laughs> hmm. Now, I would be playing, uh, you know, the remake, which is uh, Kirby Superstar Ultra for the DS, which has more modes. Well, one new mode, and then everything else is like, like, uh, Meta Knight Ultra, which is basically going through all the modes, just as Meta Knight. But the thing is that I don't have any, any way of recording DS games. Otherwise, I would have done, uh, the, the other mode, which is, um, Revenge of the King, which is a hard mode of this mode here. But it has, like, the best, the best theme ever when you fight against DVD. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah, you can look forward to, um, hopefully later on as we, as this channel, as we get a little further into this channel, we might do some DS footage. But that's yeah. a lot further down the line. For sure. Another example here, too, again, of a power I'm only going to use once, but I'm going to use this, uh, mic to actually take on the boss, which is why I'm doing this, so I don't end up using the mic power. You only get three. Hmm. So, um, you said you can t you, so the way you get a, a partner is you absorb a power and then you turn your, you turn your power into that partner? Yep, uh, by the use of the B button. Oh, what, okay. I, so, what you, could you reabsorb? Could you reabsorb that weapon? Um, like, yeah, like, uh, like, let's see here. I think you can probably see once you, uh, once I finish up here with this power, I'm probably gonna end up taking, a. Uh, oh no, not yet, no. But you can actually, like, you do this little blue thing that, you know, Kirby will flatten himself and you'll see two blue things come out of the side of him. And, uh, if it hits the partner, the partner will combust into a weapon, and then you can just take that and use that power. Actually, you'll see it right now in a second. When you I know what I loved TV. about that fight was that Kirby screamed so loud, he made his eyeball explode. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even understand. <laughs> it's Kirby. There, right he, randomly, there. he randomly grew a mohawk. So, you know. if, so the way Kirby makes his have himself have partners, does he like regurgitate their body after he eats them, or what? <laughs> <laughs> I have well, no idea. Do these animations. <laughs> <laughs> That's priceless. <laughs> <laughs> and the castle's angry. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that? I think it would be sad too if something came out of my head. Yeah, apparently this game is very uh, <coughs> emotional, I guess is the best way to put it. Everything <laughs> is spaces. Well, first impressions I'm getting out of this game, it seems pretty cool, and it also looks a little fun. But from what I've noticed for Kirby games, they're fun. But from what I've played, there's just a little bit too much going on to really appreciate everything that's going on. Like, the pace seems <laughs> a little quick, in my opinion. That's because I'm playing it really fast. And, and that might that might be the case, but I've noticed that also I've played different career games myself. Not saying there's a bad, not saying there are bad games, but to me, pacing is really important in video games. Which is um, actually one of the re specific reasons why I'm not a big fan of Left 4 Dead series. I'm not a big fan of how the game is paced. Hmm. Well, I mean, you kind of do want to take your time a little and everything, and especially with this, because you're going to see, because of me rushing so much to get from point A to point B, trying to go fast, I end up just getting hurt a lot and dying a lot because of it, because I'm so reckless. Oh, yeah, I mean, it, it looks like there was definitely a lot of effort put into this game. There's a lot of uh, nice aesthetics to it, a lot of nice little touches. Sure. And that's Spring Breeze. But now, we're going to go ahead and take on the next part, which is going to be Gourmet Race. And so these are just like, it's just like a level select, I guess? You can say that. Yeah, I guess the best way to put it is because I think all of them, unless they're mini games, they all have like little stories for them. Mm hmm. If you, I, I didn't mention this with the first one, but if you wait at the menu right there long enough, it'll show a little thing like this, like a little preview video for each one. If you wait long enough. In the DS version, if you just, uh, when you first click onto each game, it'll, uh, it'll immediately just show its own animation. No, that is that, that that was the creepiest thing I've ever seen. 
And you notice, too, I keep pressing no for the tutorials, but it keeps giving me the tutorials anyways. Be king to do your goal. Huh. And right now, every time now I've, 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 I saw this comic where it's uh, Kirby and DDD doing this gourmet race, but it's like, you know, you're eating and you're running at the same time. So the comments, like, it shows it, and then, like, towards the end, they don't even finish the race. They're like, oh my god. They're trying to, uh, race and, uh, trying to race and run. Not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, and trying to eat spaghetti and ice cream is not a good idea either. Yeah, they're combining a bunch of random different things. And, uh... Yeah, this is bloody at the <laughs> finest. I <won't>. lost! <laughs> <laughs> I made air, no less. Is this the first... It looks like... Is that the first appearance of, um... Green Green's theme? I... Actually, I'm not sure, because I haven't actually played, uh... The, the NES game or the, uh... The Game Boy game. Yeah, this seems like there's a lot to this game. Like, the Nintendo game itself was, um... A lot more straightforward. Like, just, like, you know, straight-up crap pl platforming. Sort of like the N64 version. Yeah. Just the thing I remember about it is the game was very long. Because I played it for, like, a good about two hours, I think, three hours. Didn't really die. Like, I don't think I died once. And, like, I don't even know if I was halfway through the game. Oh, yeah, for sure. So that was a very long game, considering it was a Nintendo game. <laughs> and here we go. In the beginning of the race, too, of the first race, you saw me uh, sucking on the block. There's actually... I haven't mentioned this yet, and you'll actually see it in the next uh, part. And by the way, too, this is actually one of my best power-ups here, just because you get very great air control. Compared to when you uh when you're just trying to uh, just use regular Kirby, because you get you lose a lot of speed when you actually uh when you bubble up. But using Wink, you don't lose any amount of momentum when it comes to air. But what I'm trying to say also is that uh when you're without when you have no powers, mm -hmm. you can only do a few things, which is uh suck up enemies and stuff, or you can suck up the blocks and use that as a projectile. Or, if you press down and the attack button, or the, you know, the suck up button, then you'll, uh, you'll actually do a, uh, a sliding kick. And that's definitely re what I recommend to use when you, when you're going through the first race. Though it's easy enough, so I mean, you know. To its own, but it's, it's something useful to know. And I definitely use it in the next part, and so on. Uh, and I see where the Maxim Tomatoes came from now, and us Smash Brothers. <laughs> I think this is it mentioned it in Kurt in uh in the trophies, but eh. <laughs> Jesus Christ, his face is priceless. How do you make that face by wasting one? <laughs> Don't worry, Titan Tugger, you'll do it next time. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you next time in part two. <laughs>